All right, guys, welcome back to No Filter MMA. This would be your boy BJ back with another video short, guys. Guys, if you cannot see the cat Zingano on the screen, guys, looking good, looking good. Did you guys catch the interview that Cat did with Ariel Hawani uh, uh, just the other day talking about what is her next move? Guys, Kat Zingano is being very, very secretive. And to all you guys out there that's saying that Kat Zingano, you know, to, to, to all the people out there saying Kat Zingano need to retire, you know, maybe you guys should retire. Maybe you guys are the ones that need to damn retire. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, as we all know, Kat Zingano was controversially let go from the UFC because she chose to, to you know, to, to finish working on a project that she was working on. That of course was going to be compensative and lucrative for for Kat Zingano for her and her family, which I agree with. You know, I mean, when you got to go through a camp and stuff, I'm, I'm pretty sure Kat was trying to, you know, snag this money and then go into a camp so she had money to pay for the camp. You know, and then she get in there and fight, make her fight money, boom, everything is back running normal. But the UFC didn't want to wait on that. You know what I'm saying? The UFC didn't want to wait on that, so they let instead of moving on to another opponent, they let Kat Zingano go, which to me was some bullshit. But I can't control what the UFC does, guys. Nobody can control what the UFC does. The UFC is its own machine, and they're going to continue to run. So if they part ways with Kat Zingano, that doesn't mean that Kat Zingano's fans are going to part ways with Kat Zingano. Guys, it only makes sense for Kat Zingano to sign with Bellator. Scott Coker is not playing, guys. Scott Coker is not fucking around out here in these streets. He's not fucking around out here in these streets. Scott Coker trying to build an empire over there with Bellator, and he's doing a damn good job. Who better to lead Bellator to success? Like Strike Force was led to success better than, than Scott Coker. It's better than Scott Coker. So I'm, I'm totally down with Kat Zingano going to Bellator. I feel like Kat Zingano, um, I feel like she's going to be at featherweight because the bantamweight division at Bellator isn't really formed as forming. I feel like if Cat had to fight the bet at bantamweight, she would. But I feel like Cat's going to stay at featherweight, and Cat going to want a piece of that title. As we know, as as Scott Coker said that, you know, Cyborg's going to be fighting Julia Budd or you know whoever wins that fight. I feel like whoever wins that fight, Cat Zingano will fight. She will get a she will get an immediate title shot in Bellator. She will. She will get an immediate title shot whether it's for the inaugural bantamweight title or for the featherweight title it is what it is you know what i'm saying and cat look i mean dude look at cat cat is looking sharp dude i don't care what all these people are saying out here talking about cat need to retire you know what i'm saying shut up shut up cat zingano is looking strong cat zingano is looking sharp and i'm here to support cat zingano till the cows come home I don't give a fuck what nobody say but anyways guys what are you guys thinking about Cat going to Bellator? That's the only... I mean, now, Cat was, like I said, on the Area Hawaiian show, Cat was being very, very secretive. She wasn't letting nothing out the bag. Cat was letting no cats out the bag. That's what she was doing. So, but it only makes sense for her to go to Bellator. Like, you know, the speculation, Cat trying to keep it secretive. Listen, we all know what's going on. We all know that as soon as Scott Coker heard that you was leaving, the, that you had left the UFC, you know what I'm saying, Scott Coker called your phone quickly cat we all know alpha we all know but anyways guys <laughs> think about it they got leslie smith which was eh. you know they got chris cyborg they got julia bud you know what i'm saying they got kat zingano that's the top of the featherweight division should be it will be it will be the top of the featherweight division in bellator you know it is what it is so i'm excited i'm super excited to see the future of Kat Zingano, which, you know, to me, <laughs> I still thought Kat Zingano was the one to beat Amanda Nunes because she's already done it. I don't care what her last few fights have looked like. You know what I'm saying? Her last few wins. I mean, the, the, let's but let's really think about Kat's losses, though. It was a fluke loss with Megan Anderson, toe in the eye. It was a very close fight with Ketlin Vieira. It could have went either way. Kat won the second half of the second round and won the third round. You know what I'm saying? She lost the first round and first half of the second round. It is what it is. You know, her, and the only legit loss that Kat Zingano has had other than Ronda Rousey was Juliana Pena. I mean, she got beat by Juliana Pena. But Ronda Rousey was a legit loss. Megan Anderson was not a legit loss. And Ketlin Vieira was a controversial loss. You know, Kat Zingano was in that fight. Kat Zingano came back in that fight. I thought Kat done enough to win, win that Ketlin Vieira fight. 
Caitlin Vieira had really good takedowns on Cat, though. I think that's what kind of turned the judges against Cat was the takedown. She was getting taken down a lot by Caitlin Vieira. But it is what it is. It is what it is. This is going to make Bellator very interesting. It's going to bring a lot of eyes to Bellator. And you know what I'm saying? All those Zingano fans are going to go straight to Bellator. Scott Coker is one of the smartest motherfuckers out here. I'm telling you guys. He is smart. Dude. Scott Coker is smart, period. He is smart and he knows what he's doing. Scott Coker, get that name. Get Cat. Get Cat on in there. Stop playing, Scott Coker. Let's go ahead and release this. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and put this out that Cat Zingano is going to be a part of the Bellator roster. Sign her to a six-fight contract. Let's go. And there better be a title shot somewhere in there. Anyways, guys. Drop those comments in the comment section. Hit that like button. Hit that dislike button. Let me get, let me know what you guys are thinking about Alpha Cat Zingano possibly and very convincingly probably going to make the move to Bellator. This is your boy BJ. Hit that subscribe button and I am out.